Their critics said it couldn't be done. It'll be like old times. Get on TV, scare them a bit, present ourselves as the saviors. I like fear-mongering as much as the next governor, but it's over. They haven't even taken off their masks. The water's still warm. You don't think I love the daily press conferences? I love giving the daily press conferences, but it's over. You know, Cuomo, I'm starting to wonder if you even want to be a god. Screw you, Newsom! You're out of order! But it ain't over till the fat lady's on a ventilator. Hey, Newsom, we're in. Don't make me regret this. One last lockdown. Newsom, what about the science? We'll tell them what the science is. But what about the protest? We'll tell them when to protest. I found a scientist that'll give us the numbers we want. So Fauci says we're at the bottom of six in it. We need to convince them that it's game one of the series. You know, my researchers tell me this new strain stuff really resonates. My DMs are lighting up again. Oh, baby. Dash is flowing up. around. Who runs this country? We do. Who runs this country? We do. I feel so alive. This is what being a governor is about. <laughs> well, well, at least they're honest now. And, and you know, it's funny because it's also partly true. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Ukradowski of We Are Change. There are a lot of very important things to get into today, especially when it comes to the very hot water that Bill Gates is in right now after more. Troubling information is coming out against the man who, through the eyes of the mainstream media, could do no wrong. And, uh, oh boy, couldn't that be further from the truth? We're going to be talking about that. UFOs, aliens, and of course, the ever-rising totalitarian police state. But before we do that, plus a lot more, the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is a small excerpt from the full video by Ryan Long, who released an absolutely incredible video. The link to his channel is down below. And uh, in my opinion, he definitely deserves to have a lot more subscribers than what he has right now. Now, just jumping right into it, as we know, in June, the Pentagon will be releasing a report about UFOs, a provision which was stuck into this year's budget because of a late added provision in the 2020 stimulus bill that passed. The Pentagon is now supposed to disclose what they know about UFOs, aliens, and of course we're following that story very closely since there's many implications. There's a lot of possibilities of psyops here, but before the release we got a new set of photos from the U.S. Navy that just released more photos of a quote mysterious spherical object that was flying in between air and water and then of course abruptly disappearing. The video that you're watching right now is the one that was just released and uh, this is just some of the stuff that of course is going to be planned to be released in just a few days from now. Now, of course, we could talk about this topic uh, extensively, and, and we will when the time comes. It's just very perplexing to see these releases before the release that is, of course, supposed to happen. There is a lot of unanswered questions here that hopefully we will be getting down to the bottom of. In other news, police departments all throughout the United States are preparing for a, quote, violent summer as they are expecting a huge surge of violence, which, uh, after examining the socioeconomic and political situation, uh, is definitely expected. But one of the main reasons why this will happen, according to the Wall Street Journal, is not because of the huge increase in poverty, the rich getting richer, larger wealth inequality, but because of the easing of regulations and restrictions by the CDC, along with people legally purchasing self-defense tools that will, quote, create this. Similar lockdown and regulations by the CDC and other federal governments that people like Rachel Maddow don't want to see go away as she just literally released a video saying she has to prepare herself to see people not wearing masks. Part of it is that I feel like I'm going to have to rewire myself so that when I see somebody out in the world who's not wearing a mask, I don't instantly think you are a threat <laughs> or you are selfish or you are a denier and you definitely haven't vaccinated. I mean, we're going to have to rewire the way that we look at each other because the CDC's guidance, which she just told me, we are sure. Yeah, that's the state of the mainstream media and just the absolute fear-mongering, gaslighting garbage that that is fed to Americans almost daily. Also, another thing that journalists aren't asking is why did the CDC lift their guidelines, change their regulations? There hasn't been any explanation. There hasn't been any evidence provided. The situation as a whole here seems made up as we go along here, which to some proves that they were making this up all along and lying to us from the very beginning. And I think there's a solid argument to make here 
especially after scientists in the United Kingdom who were working as advisors for the government have come out in an official letter say that they expressed regret for what they called totalitarian and unethical methods of fear-mongering the population in order to control their behavior. Yes, this is a new report. That came out. The Telegraph is reporting on it. Mainline, government scientists are admitting and regretting that they used totalitarian fear-mongering tactics against you. They, of course, did this in lockstep with the mainstream media, the politicians, and the billionaire class that, of course, gained a tremendous amount of power and money during these lockdowns, which benefited all of them except for actual people. And this is important to understand here because if the government could do this and get away with it scot clean, what's stopping them from doing this again? If a government is looking for a reason to screw you over, they will always find a reason to screw you over as a perfect representation by this police dog who literally signaled and allowed cops to have probable cause at every single traffic stop that he attended. And again, we've been warning you about the totalitarian dangers from this from the very beginning. And because of that, we were censored, downranked in the algorithm, and faced deletion for even bringing up such important legitimate concerns. There's still people being banned right now for the most absurd behaviors, like a Spanish politician that just had his account suspended on Twitter after saying that men cannot get pregnant. Yes, that's the new <laughs> levels of censorship that are happening right now. Previously, it was if you questioned the government's totalitarian methods and a slurry of other issues that, of course, we talk about almost daily on LukeUncensored.com, our own video platform, where today we're going to be talking about some uh, shocking revelations from Chelsea Handler. She's definitely not happy and not doing well today. After her praise and trust of Dr. Fauci is definitely withered today, who today is deciding to talk about race. Yes, there's a lot of things to say. Lots of crazy new numbers from the CDC. Again, a lot of stuff we can't talk about, but we will later on today on LukeUncensored.com. Lots of videos we can't play here. We will be playing there. And if you love unfiltered free speech, you're going to really love this platform. And I thank everyone who does and allows us to be free and independent. Now, jumping into our main topic, specifically with all the bad people that the mainstream media tried to convince you were good people that we are warning you about, we have of course have the latest revelations of the bromance that was happening between Mr. Epstein and of course Mr. Gates. Epstein, if you don't know who he is, you're a perfect mind control slave of the ruling establishment. He of course was the international trafficker who ran an extortion ring hurting children in unspeakable ways for over 30 years with the full protection of the U.S. government and royal family. Bill Gates, also a very troubled past individual who has many allegations of shady, corrupt dealings against him. He was one of the biggest supporters and proponents of Monsanto. He now has his own fake meat that he's trying to force feed you. He also wants to block out the sun. And these two individuals, we recently found out, also had an allure to the ideas of population control and human experimentation. And now we're finding out today that their relationship far expanded this common interest of population control and even extended to their own personal lives, as we have been finding out that Bill Gates' wife, Melinda, was troubled by Bill's dealings with Mr. Epstein, told them to stop. Bill refused. They've seen each other more than we even know about, and now we're finding out to sources that it was Mr. Epstein giving Bill Gates advice on how to end his, quote, toxic marriage with Melinda, who wasn't a fan of Epstein. There's also a lot of other reports saying that Melinda initiated the divorce and started looking for divorce lawyers, specifically when the mainstream media started talking about the relationship between Mr. Epstein and Bill Gates, which of course Bill Gates have, has been very quiet about. And in a little bit, we're going to get into why these meetings were probably more sinister than we even uh, think or, or know about here. We'll, we'll get into that in just a little bit. But specifically, according to the Daily Beast that has been doing accurate reporting specifically around the Jeffrey Epstein case and saga, according to their sources that have usually been on point, Bill and Jeffrey had many series of meetings inside of Epstein's heavily surveilled mansion in New York City. Bill was using the meetings as an escape from his, quote, 
toxic marriage, meeting him a, quote, substantial higher amounts of times than previously reported. Bill Gates was allegedly encouraging Epstein to, quote, rehabilitate his image in the media, following, of course, his guilty plea for hiring children to do unspeakable things. We can't mention uh, the stuff that Mr. Epstein did to small children here on this YouTube channel, of course, but y you understand what I'm talking about here. According to this Daily Beast source, the two even discussed potentially Epstein being involved in the Bill and the, and the Melinda Gates Foundation, who Jeffrey Epstein publicly said that he was an advisor to. The Daily Beast article goes on and says specifically, quote, the people familiar with the matter said Gates found freedom in Epstein's lair, which, which again, we have to understand here, was a part of a larger extortion operation that used children in unspeakable ways. That's what happened in that New York mansion, in that lair that had surveillance cameras everywhere. According to the Daily Beast, this was their, quote, men's club, which heavily irritated Melinda. Now, it's also important to note here that this reporting is done according to two sources, not just one. A representative of Bill Gates denies these allegations, but, uh... Of course he would. Bill Gates has previously lied to the general public about a slurry of very important issues. He is, he is known for being a ruthless businessman that would do anything to get ahead. And there's a lot of other reporting that's being corroborated by this. Even by People.com, that's reporting that Melinda went through, quote, major trauma because of Bill Gates's and Jeffrey Epstein's relationship. Now, as we know, Jeffrey Epstein was a deviant. The accounts and personal first-hand witnesses of some of his actions are, are, are shocking, too grotesque and, and too wild to even discuss here on this platform. We also are learning that Bill Gates liked to throw nude swimming parties with working girls. We also know that he had an affair with former employees and Microsoft. He had a deal with his wife that allowed him to visit his ex in a one-week private vacation resort. The New York Times reported that Bill Gates had a reputation for, quote, questionable behavior after, of course, harassment claims by his money manager, affairs with employees. And when you read this specific story about him in the New York Post, he was horrible at uh, picking up women, where he many times unsuccessfully tried to lure women into bed with him and was not successful. So what was Bill Gates doing with a man that procured children that couldn't run away and were literal slaves of Epstein and had to do everything that he demanded them to do? Unspeakable things, again, we can't even mention here. And uh, it's not out of the realm of possibility that Bill Gates, who, uh, according to many accounts, was unsuccessful with women, was into some, some weird stuff, hired strippers for pool parties before. We have to understand that there's a big possibility here that Bill Gates was a customer of what Mr. Epstein was selling here. That is definitely not out of the realm of possibility. And in my own personal opinion, I think there was a lot more than just some of the arguments and debates that took place at Epstein's New York mansion. According also to these two sources in the Daily Beast, Bill Gates was also, quote, a brutal person to argue with, being described as a person that, quote, has the ability, unlike any other person I ever met, to lecture to a table of people without stopping for an hour. Now, according to a former Gates Foundation employee, he says that Gates wanted to get some of the personal connections that Epstein had and, quote, wasn't hanging out with Epstein for women. But again, we have to understand Bill Gates is one of the richest people in the world. He has connections to essentially anyone and everyone. Why would he need a disgraced man who's a convicted criminal known for some of the most atrocious behaviors on the face of this earth? for, quote, connection. That story doesn't make sense to me, and it doesn't make sense to anyone paying attention. So yeah, this is a major bombshell. There's still a lot of secrecy. There's still so much information that we don't know about this story that is essentially the story of the decade. A story that the mainstream media, that many politicians, that many billionaires, that many tech moguls want to go away, but it cannot if enough people start talking about it, start sharing these articles, these videos start hashtagging and reinvigorating this very important conversation because until we find out about all 
the corrupt government officials that were a part of this trafficking and extortion ring, there are still people in power that are hurting children in absolute unspeakable ways that deserve the full might of the justice system to be used against them. Jeffrey Epstein once was promoted, adored by the mainstream media. Bill Gates as well, still to this day up until, of course, recently when we're actually finding out that this man could be a lot sicker than most have even realized. Again, everything points to some of the most horrendous behavior on the face of this earth. Unless there's some transparency, accountability, unless there's a court case specifically around this, don't expect the truth to get out there. The same government officials that were with Epstein's are the ones giving you medical advice right now. I don't trust them. I don't trust the institution that allowed this horrible behavior to happen. You should never trust the mainstream media that promotes individuals like Mr. Epstein and Bill Gates. These are bad people with bad intentions that will do bad things to you. That's my own personal take on it. What do you think? Do you think I'm wrong in any way, shape, or form? Let me know why down in the comment section below. And how far do you think Epstein's relationship with Bill Gates went? What's some of the stuff that we don't even know about that these people were up to? What do you think they were doing let me know down in the comment section below and share this video friends family members strangers if you're getting gas today talk to your gas attendant and be like hey you should see this video by uh youtube.com forward slash we are changed yep random gas attendant talk to him people need to be shaken out of the matrix that we're all in and sometimes it takes a, a, a random sporadic conversation that could do that and because you guys do that i'm still here this is why i love you guys stay tuned for more here on we are change dot org. <laughs>